we get stuck. You got to get unstuck. I'm preaching to myself, but it's, it's interesting because we have these ideas, we have these positive thoughts, and we start performing, we take action, but it never truly becomes a habit because we get stuck. We get stuck at different steps. Let's just say we have these thoughts, then we take action. That starts becoming a habit. We can get stuck right there because we don't see immediate changes. We don't see results. You know, we've been working out for four weeks and we can't see our abs yet. Are you eating right? You know, we're, we're working out, we're lifting weights. And it's like, my muscles not even growing, man. Are you even lifting enough? Are you even doing it properly? So we get stuck. Some of us get stuck at the thinking part. You know, we're at work, we're at school, wherever we're at. And we're thinking, man, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this this year. I'm gonna start that business. I'm gonna start working out. I'm gonna stop doing drugs, whatever the hell it is. And then we get home and we don't feel like it no more. We have friends call us up and we get distracted. We don't know how to say no. And we get pulled into their reality. And we never even get to the, the step where we're taking action. So we gotta get unstuck. We gotta be consistent, have patience. Things take time. I've been working out for a while. I got the, one of them photos I have on me of me with a video on my page. I mean, that's from, that's a while back. That's when I first started on my journey of you know improving my life in different areas. I tried all kinds of stuff, man. Intermittent fasting. I starved myself. I mean, I, I tried different workout routines. Finally cracked the code. Now my body's just changing by the month. And uh, I'm feeling good. But you got to get unstuck, man. You got to follow through. It's like an assembly line on a, when they build cars. They got to follow through, you know, until they test drive the vehicle and then it's ready to go. But they put the tires on. They put the motor in. It's an assembly line. Your life needs to be an assembly line. Every day you need to wake up with that fire. And even when you don't feel that fire, it doesn't matter how you feel. You need to go and you need to show up. Again, this morning, feeling down, feeling like, damn, man, if I just sleep some more, I could get up so early every day, work all day. I'm doing this, I'm doing that. Working out seven days a week, you know, just didn't feel it. But guess what? Once I warmed up, start, once I started hitting those weights, I felt good. I felt, you know what? It's worth it. I would have felt like shit if I didn't show up to the gym today to work out. And that's how you're gonna feel if you don't ever make the move that you need to make. You can't avoid your destiny. You can't avoid what's calling you, man. Whether it's a business or making money, do it while you have a job because it's gonna hurt later when you don't have the money or when you see people younger than you or in worse situations than you that sacrificed and put their ass on the line and they did something big. It's gonna hurt you whenever you see that friend that's morally obese right now but they're working out and they got those they took action and it became a habit and they didn't quit and you keep watching them you keep watching them they keep showing up then you go to the beach with them or, or who knows what you see a little post they make and they're jacked and they're ripped you're gonna be like holy shit nah you're gonna deny it you're not gonna believe it nah there's no way how is he because he was consistent because he fixed his diet because he tracked the weights that he was lifting in the gym. Like me, I track it on my phone. I have an Excel spreadsheet. Every day I'm tracking the reps and the weight. Because if I don't increase the weight or the reps, then am I, am I even going to grow? Because my body's going to adapt to it. Right? So are you tracking? You don't even track your life. You don't even track the stuff you put in your body. You know when your oil light comes on in your car and you change your oil on your vehicle. You never feel that. You get your tires rotated. Or you change your tires. Or you don't even do that. But when it comes to your body, stuff that you're digesting, that gives you energy, nourishes your body. That's all we got right here. And this shit gets buried. You don't even track that. We just put whatever into our body. Whatever. Think about that. Into your body. Do you track what you're eating? Because to me, that's more important. You want a six pack, you want abs. These little videos on YouTube telling you to go do crunches and do a little sit up like this and that. I don't even do crunches. I don't even do, I do a little machine for abs and I do leg raises and I'm, my six pack is just pop, popping by the week. You don't got to do a thousand sit-ups or crunches a day. Planks will help, but you don't have to do all that stuff. A lot of it is diet. It's fat. If you can't see your abs, you have fat on there. But you can't work out for a week, two weeks, 
You can't work out for 30 days or 60 days and look in the mirror and expect to look like some fucking bodybuilder. You got to get unstuck, man. Stop getting stuck. So you need to figure out if you're watching me still. Look, listen, figure out what step you're getting stuck on. Is it just on the thinking phase? Is it on the action phase? You're not executing? Is it on the habit phase? You got the habit down, but then you're, you're not patient enough, right? Where are you getting stuck? Because it takes a full, full 360. And I learned that as well. It takes a full 360. It's easy to eat whatever you want and eat like shit and work out. You could be the most consistent person. You could work out seven days a week, but if you eat, overeat, and you're eating too many calories and your macros aren't right, Man, it's not gonna show. You'll look big, you'll look great with a t-shirt on, but when you take that shit off, listen to me. Your abs, your abs don't lie. If there's any part in your body, your stomach does not lie. The stomach always tells the truth, right? Some of us can't give up alcohol, and we diet, and we do everything. But on the weekends, we love to get drunk. Oh, but alcohol, people love that shit, man. They protect it. Oh, but alcohol, but I know that, listen to me, it causes inflammation. Okay, in your midsection, it does it, it elevates your estrogen, it does a bunch of shit, especially beer. You're not going to be really ripped and have a six pack if you're drinking every single weekend. It, it damages your organs, it's poison, man. There's other stuff you can get addicted to that don't, don't do as much, and um, it causes inflammation in the pancreas, liver problems, all kinds of shit. It's just not worth it, you know. You want to take a shot here and there for New Year's, whatever, but consistently drinking you're not going to have the physique you want so it's the full 360 man you got to get unstuck and you got to go all in some of you guys don't go all in enough just pick something the worst thing you could be is a person that's good at a lot of things but he's a master of none you know you're the best at working out and consistency but your diet is shit or you have the best diet in the world but you don't work out consistently or you don't track your weight you're not improving you're not going to grow you have to do a full 360. I meal prep every day. Some days I gotta eat a little bit more calories. I can tell when I'm, I'm, I'm you know, too much in a deficit. But I eat every few hours now. I'm eating good. You know, I munch on a few things here and there just to get certain urges out of me. But man, you gotta do a full 360. I've been doing this shit for a while, man. When I was a teenager, I used to work out and do sit-ups and push-ups every fucking day. I had a fucking six pack. I was in shape. And I remember I used to have uh, one of Arnold's books, whatever, the Encyclopedia of Bodybuilding. Yeah, man, this is a long time ago. And, uh, but I let off in my 20s. And shit, now I look younger than I did in my 20s. It's incredible. But you gotta be consistent. It takes time, man. But most importantly, you need to figure out where you're stuck at, fix that process, figure out the step, and you need to dominate the small things. I told a friend yesterday, dominate the small things for that then you can dominate the big things there's levels to this man there's levels dominate the small things the universe is testing you your life is testing you and when you pass you go to the next level you go to the next level you take a step back why because you weren't ready you weren't molded enough you failed that level it's happened to me multiple times and then i level up and then i go past my last peak my next peak is going to be mount everest <laughs> it's going to be crazy but anyways we'll be back tomorrow with another video appreciate it